Hi, I'm Ben Hanwalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And today I'm going to take some time to answer some frequently asked questions that I've received regarding the PowerFocus 6000. Today I want to talk about the Settings tab. Now the Settings tab is where we're going to find a lot of important settings on the PowerFocus 6000, such as IP address, some general field bus settings, as well as events and pin locking. So follow along with me in the software while we get into it. So looking in the software, at the bottom right corner, you're going to see the Settings tab. So I'm going to click into the Settings tab, and we're going to go through each of these different tabs on the left-hand side. Now the first tab that we're going to be on is going to be the IP settings, debatably one of the more important tabs in this setting. So there's two options on the PowerFocus 6000. We can set a manual IP address, which is typically the most common, and we can also receive an IP address through DHCP. So no matter what we do, if I program in a manual IP address, remember to scroll down and hit the apply button so that you know that that IP address is programmed in. And as you can see on the screen, we also have the ability to put in optional settings for domain name servers. So if you are using a, a DNS server, you can use this on a PowerFocus 6000. Moving on down, the next tab we're going to have is going to be our server connections. So there's three server connections on the PowerFocus 6000. There's ToolsNet, ToolsTalk, as well as the Atlas Copco License Manager. Now, ToolsTalk is for the ToolsTalk 2 connection. ToolsNet is obviously for the ToolsNet connection. The Atlas Copco License Manager connection is going to be for if you are using ToolsTalk 2 as a license manager on your assembly line. So the next tab down we have is going to be the Preferences tab. Now in here you're going to have your date and time, which we can set in a few different ways, whether it's manually or from an NTP or a ToolsNet server. We can change our language, we can change our torque units, as well as temperature units and the startup screen. Another option in here that you're going to see is the accessibility option, which is the interface, the web interface that we're connected through right now, you do have the ability to turn off or on that access via the factory port. Next tab down we're going to have is going to be the PIN. So the PIN is going to be the password protection for the PowerFocus 6000. So if I go into configure, I can turn it on and I can also put in an additional, at the top right corner, an additional user. And I can change the name of the user to whatever I want and then I can change the pin based on the person. So what this is going to do is this is actually going to allow that person to have a specific pin to themselves and then it's enabled. So now this controller is going to be password or pin protected. So now when we back out of the pin we can go to the next tab down. This is going to be the tool. So in the tool menu, this is going to be for maintenance and calibration alarms. So whether it be a maintenance or calibration or an oil level, which is going to be for the new TBP tools, you have all of these options within the tool menu. Our next tab down is going to be the tightening menu. Now this is where we have the ability to set disable tightening or disable loosening depending on certain criteria, whether it be an OK or not OK tightening or after every fastening. The next tab down we're going to have is where we're going to turn on whether it be uh, wireless LAN for wireless tools or Bluetooth for Bluetooth tools. If we're not using either of these, we can leave these set to off. The next tab we have is going to be the events tab. Now within this tab we have the ability to configure our events. And essentially all this is going to be used for is if we want to log or display different events, we have the ability to do so within this tab. Next tab down is going to be the field bus tab. Now from this tab we are actually able to change very basic field bus settings, specifically the IP address as well as the uh, red result handshake and the uh, lock tool when the field bus is offline. We can also see the connection status of the field bus. So up at the top we can see an active connection status whether we're online or offline with the field bus. And the last tab we're going to have in settings is going to be the factory reset. Now, by clicking on this and doing a factory reset, it's going to completely wipe out your controller and allow you to start from scratch, which in certain situations is a useful tool to have. 
So I hope that you've been able to get some information about the general settings on the PowerFocus 6000 and where to find them. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to contact an Atlas Copco representative so that we can get some answers for you.